Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Talk. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Essential Phone, as pictured here. Uh, what is the Essential Phone? Well, it is an Android phone that <clears throat> has been out for a while. It's been out for about, oh, probably nine months. I think it was released in summer of last year. Uh, there were some delays, but essentially it is a flagship phone. One of these uh, two-by-one designs, uh, it has, I believe, an 80% ratio of screen. Uh, so basically, you have a larger screen in a smaller format. Uh, the screen size is 5.7 inches versus a 5.5 inch, so it's larger than that. But there is a little sacrifice um, because there's a notch and sometimes you can't utilize the full uh, size of the screen. So I wanted to show you just a little bit. This is how it comes. Get your SIM tool ejector, a little bit of legal paperwork there. And uh, a nice charger here. This is a 24 watt uh, USB charger which I like a lot. The design is very nice. You get a adapter tool. So this is USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. And it's a very nice braided cord. Um, looks high quality. And then the power uh, cable is the same. It's USB-C to USB-C. So there is no... Um, uh, you have to have a USB-C port to plug this into your computer. Luckily, I do, but some people may have a problem with that. So just be warned, uh, if you want to plug this into your computer, you're going to need a USB-C uh, port for that. But the cable itself is very nice. The braided nylon seems very durable and tough. So uh, the unit itself... Um, has a ceramic back as you can see, dual camera with dual LED flash, and these two things here are uh, a pin connector for a 360 camera, which I will not be purchasing. Um, take that off there, and then we have our 5.7 inch screen, which is 2K resolution. So the resolution on this is pretty darn good. It is not an OLED panel. Uh, it's just an LCD, IPS LCD screen, but the blacks, as you can see, are excellent. Um, the screen on this, uh, even though the contrast ratio, ratio excuse me, is a little bit less than my Xiaomi Mi Mix 2, uh, the blacks seem deeper on this phone than the Xiaomi does, which is interesting to me. I was not expecting that. Um, so, as you can see here, the edges are titanium. It's all glossy. It does fingerprint up pretty quickly. Um, and there's nothing at the top. No 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, no microphone. And uh, really nothing there. It's just a looks like an antenna band, and an antenna band on the sides. On the right side, we have a power button, and then two volume buttons on the left side. Again, there's really nothing at all except for the antenna bands. And then on the bottom, we have a speaker on the left, microphone on the right, USB-C in the middle, and the SIM tray. That's an odd place for a SIM tray. Usually they're on the side of the phone, but that's the way Essential did it. So the specs on this are 128 gigabyte of UFS 2.1 uh, internal storage. So it is a fast internal storage, not like the... Um, some phones with EMMC 5.1. Um, right now, you can get this phone for $399 on Amazon. So for that price, uh, it's pretty affordable and pretty reasonable to have the specs that it does. Um, 
So again, just getting back to the specs, you get four gigabytes of dual channel uh, DDR4 RAM, um, a Snapdragon 835 processor, uh, which is an octa-core chipset uh, clocked at 2.45 gigahertz, uh, lots of internal storage uh, that is high speed. There is no uh, slot for an SD card. You can only put one SIM in here. And um, it has Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, which I really, really appreciate. And uh, that's about it as far as the specs go. The camera, I believe, is a 12 megapixel in dual dual 12 megapixel sensors on the back and then an 8 megapixel on the front. Um, to me, uh, the device does really well. As you can see here, this is pretty low light and actually it looks uh, a lot brighter than my Xiaomi Mi Mix 2, which I'm recording this on right now. So uh, some people have said it doesn't take great photos and all that. Well, possibly in earlier iterations of the software that may have been true. Um, but my experience, um, the camera works really nice. Um, it's at least as good as the Mi Mix 2. It may not be as good as a Samsung S9 or an iPhone, uh, but for the cost, it's definitely a nice, nice camera. So, again, the dual flash uh, on the back as well. So, um, how does it work? Well, it's a mixed bag. Um, I like the software a lot. I like the design cues. I like the boxiness of the phone. It actually fits in my hand really well. It doesn't slide. Um, my Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 has rounded corners, and it, it's real easy to slip out unless you have a case. This one is pretty grippy. I'm surprised by that. Uh, it doesn't slip or slide out of my hand. Of course, if you have it on a surface, that's a completely different story. Um, and the notch. I wasn't sure if I was going to like that notch or not. It doesn't bother me for the most part. Um, so I'm not so concerned about that. One of the things I do like about having stock Android is there's no bloatware. And I also get uh, Wi-Fi calling. On my Mi Mix 2, they have not put uh, Wi-Fi calling on the phone yet. And this LCD panel, again, it's just spectacular. It really looks nice. It's deeper. When I compare it to the Mi Mix 2, I can really see the difference in resolution. The 2K resolution is much better. Um, and I, I really didn't think that that was going to be such a dramatic difference to me because I've been using... 1080p screens on my phones for a while. I had the uh, two, I had the, the OnePlus 3T and then the OnePlus 5, and then after that, the Xiaomi uh, Mi Max 2 and the Xiaomi Mi A1, and then now with the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. Um, I've sold the other Xiaomi devices, the Mi A1 and the, the Mi Max 2. Um, the Mi A1 is a great device for the Price. It really can't be beat, um, but just for a little bit more, right now you can purchase the Mi Mac Mi Mix Two, and it is just you know heads and shoulders above the Mi A One. That being said, for the cost, which one would you rather have, the Mi A One, excuse me, the Mi Mix Two, or the Essential Phone? Um, it's not an easy thing for me to say. Um, Again, the screen on this is much, much better, but the performance on the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 is, is quite good. It has more RAM, has 6 gigabytes of RAM, and it has a 1080p screen, so it doesn't have to move as many pixels around. So performance-wise, it performs better, even though it has a ton of dual apps that cannot be uninstalled and are kind of difficult to disable, although you can do that. Um, so software-wise, I certainly enjoyed the experience on the Essential Phone a lot better. Performance-wise, it's a little bit noticeable, but not much noticeable as far as the difference. It's more just the uh, benchmark scores, and then you have to take that with a little grain of salt because sometimes uh, 
These processors, when they run hot, they throttle, and so you're not getting an accurate read. Um, one of the things I've noticed about the Essential Phone is that it does heat up, so it's definitely throttling quickly, whereas my Mi Mix 2 with the 6 gigabytes of RAM doesn't seem to throttle too quickly, and it gets really good scores as a result of that. Um, so I don't know what's up with the uh, with the software um, that Essential is running on this. It should be stock. It should be slim and, and mean and fast. Uh, it should get pretty similar scores um, to the Mi Mix 2. Now, the Mi Mix 2 has more RAM, and it's got um, a lower resolution screen, but it has a lot more pre-installed apps by default. Uh, the, the difference is that Xiaomi obviously does some optimizations on their firmware, um, and the 6 gigabytes of RAM does make a difference. So, what do I say? Um, I really like the mixed design because it doesn't have a notch, but then the screen is just so much better. Uh, battery life, I haven't really had this phone long enough. I just opened it up, so I don't know. It does seem to be pretty decent. It has a 3000 milliamp battery as opposed to the Mix 2, which has a 3400 milliamp battery. Support wise, obviously the Essential Phone is uh, going to have support for a while, and it does have better specs. I mean, the storage is better, and the Gorilla Glass 5 is better. The titanium frame looks a lot better than the uh, anodized aluminum on the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. Um, so I don't know. You know, it, it's I like the larger screen on the Mix. But then the screen is so immersive. And the other thing I like about the Mix 2 is that it has on-screen gestures. So I can swipe like this and go back. I can do this to get all my apps. You basically swipe up and pause. Or I can just swipe up and I go back. So, or I mean go home. So there, those features that are built into the MIUI software are pretty cool. The MIUI... Um, the way you can download software and update the device is also much better than the Essential. If I wanted to uh, update the firmware on this from scratch, I'd basically have to use a computer to do so. And it's not the most easy process. Whereas with the Xiaomi uh, Mi Mix 2, I can basically download firmware, uh, complete firmware, update my phone, reset it, and it's like I've got a brand new device. So if there were any issues I had, it's a lot easier to get it back to stock than it is with the Essential, which is odd because this is just a stock Android phone. So that being said, my initial review on this for $399, it's a definite worth, uh, it's worth the cost. I'm going to do some uh, uh, gaming on this to see how it games, but as far as... Um, benchmarks are concerned. Like I said, the, the, the scores were not that impressive. Uh, somebody posted 205,000. Uh, when I get, when I run the benchmarks, it's about 150,000. So that's a huge difference. And I get about 100,000 just stock out of the box. I have to go into developer options and uh, put the animations at 0.5 to get a higher score. So I don't know what that's about. It shouldn't be getting 100,000 with the Snapdragon 835 and 4 gigs of RAM. It just shouldn't. It should get a higher score. So it's obviously doing some throttling. It does get warm. So I have a feeling that that is the source of the problem. It's not so much that it's not a capable chipset uh, or that they're lying about the uh, specifications. So... Take that as you will. I haven't done Geekbench. That might be a more accurate uh, result. Um, that being said, like I said, in daily use, it works great. The camera is great. I'm very happy with the phone. I will definitely be keeping it um, and using it as my daily driver. Uh, I'm going to have to decide whether or not I'm going to keep my Xiaomi Mi Mix 2. Uh, again, like I said, I do like the Xiaomi 
uh, design and stuff, but I may uh, just send it back and get a, a one plus six, which is going to be coming out soon. So um, that's my honest opinion of the essential phone. I think for the cost that they have now, even if it was at three fifty, I don't think they could really sell it for much less than that because honestly, the hardware in here is not cheap. It looks like a really premium device. And the other thing, like I said, it does have some extra features like the T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling that uh, I can't even access on my Mi Mix. So um, tell me what you think uh, What you, what you think about the phone. I really love the design of it. It's, it's stellar. It's smaller than my Mix 2, which is already smaller again than most normal 5.5-inch screen phones. And both of these phones have a larger than a 5.5 inch screen. So um, yeah, I can't wait to see what Essential does if they release a new phone. I hope they reduce their pricing because the initial pricing on this at $700 uh, just is not, it's not worth it. You know, they need to develop <clears throat> their brand uh, through some time um, and get, get a reputation for quality products before people are gonna spend that kind of money on their device. Um, but I think they're on the right track now. They're discounting it. They're doing a lot of updates and uh, it is a fantastic looking device. It's a good good working device. You know, the fingerprint reader is a little slow, as you can see. Um, but, you know, overall it's good. So I will do a follow-up review after I have this for a few days. I uh, just wanted to give out a quick initial review and if you're interested in purchasing this I highly recommend going to Amazon because they have a hundred dollar less price than Essential does and I believe you're getting the same warranty and everything so um, yeah it's a good buy it's a good phone if you like stock Android uh, I highly recommend it if you like um, something with a custom UI uh, you like additional features and you like to try beta builds and stuff like that, then stick with the Mi Mix 2. You can get that on Amazon too for a really good price. Um, you can't go wrong with either phone. They're excellent for their cost. I, I think for $400, you, your, your money is well spent. And you can keep these for a while. I do think that this Essential is better built. It looks like it's going to last longer as far as durability is concerned. And obviously with the higher scratch resistance, uh, that'll be the case. So that's my review. This has been Tech Talk. I'm Abaya. Thanks for watching. Hope to catch you on the next one.